with Johnny Moran and I was El Capone's right hand man. But they ran the union, they ran Chicago really. And uh, they wanted my dad to join the union because uh, the busy times he had from six to eight, but just working for him wow. in the store. And uh, they wanted my dad to join the union. They wouldn't do it. You got to pay off, of course. So one day we came in. I'd go to work with my dad sometimes five in the morning. That's where I learned how to get up at get up at five o'clock in the morning, and I still do today. But uh, they wanted them to join the union, and they wouldn't do it. And one day we came in to open the store, five or six in the morning, and it had a it was a nice white front store. And it had black point, black paint spattered all over it. That was a warning by the syndicate that they were going to burn it down the next time. Wow. So that's what they would do. So my dad then joined the union and had his employees join the union. But I had to take a payoff up to his right-hand man named Johnny Moran, lived just a couple blocks from the meat market. And I think it was 62nd place in Chicago. And he lived on the second floor in an apartment building. And every Saturday, I had to deliver a package of choice meats, you know, like beef tenderloins and pork tenderloins, steaks, Choice Meat had to deliver a package to Johnny Moran on the second floor of his apartment. And that was to pay off what my dad had to make. And that was pretty, fairly easy payoff. But if you didn't do that, you'd burn down your business. So I delivered that every Saturday to Johnny Moran. I wonder if if he would be mentioned on what you look things up on your market. Yeah, I think he's also known as Bugs Moran. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gangster. Yeah. Who we'll Google it? Yeah. Google. Find it, Hano? I'm looking right now. So never had any trouble with the union after it's that. All right making those payoffs. Oh, but that's the way it was in those days. 